and just negotiate. Right, yeah, well that's what we're here for. Just making a video of John. Um, well, I, I'm just uh, curious about what we were told uh, originally um, when we were, my colleagues were asked to remove uh, a sign that said boycott Israeli terror. Um, so I came across and asked you about this, uh, what, what the law that was that was being invoked to, to make people take it down and you said that you didn't know but you were being directed by your superior. Um, and that if we refuse to take it down, then you, uh, you would have to escalate things. So before things get escalated, we would like to know just what it is, uh, what law is being used uh, to, that it requires people to take down such a sign. I spoke to my colleagues, yeah, special constable for Britain and the Police. Right, okay. I don't have a phone for the camera. Um, and obviously, he spoke to the inspector, I've only just come from one place in one situation now, because obviously I've been made aware of it on the radio. Um, obviously, that sign did not need to be taken down at this moment, and it's not causing any harassment and violence stress to the public, so they've not made any official complaints to us. That's fair enough, if yeah. If people were making these new calls to come over and say, as a rapper, I'm alarmed by that sign, it, it will be some sort of legislation to play in, displaying signs or giving it a problem to stuff out, which are obviously that, but nothing at this time has been reported, so that's not going to stay where it is. Well, thank you for that, except there has been that it does not come under that, jury, uh, that legislation, it, unless you have a reason to believe that is, uh, even if somebody complains that it's causing alarm and distress, you have to have, to have reason to believe that it's causing alarm. Exactly. So that if somebody said, um, I hate poodles, yeah, um, some I hope you don't. Poodles. I really hope you don't. <laughs> right. Well, I'm, 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 I'm in no offense. <laughs> watching, but just in case, this is just an example. Right. Well, obviously. Um, Listen, I'm going to have to go to that building at this moment in time. I'm going to finish the store in Market Place. Like I said, for that sign, you can stay where it is, okay? Well, thank you, thank you. In case, we shouldn't have been asked to remove it in the first place. I did not. <laughs> Wonderful. There's uh, another example of what happens when you simply don't do what you're being told you have to do by people who pretend that you have to do what you're being told to do when you just don't. Use your own brains, you know, you have functions, you have personal responsibility as well. If you believe the crap that being, you're being told, you know, you have the responsibility for what happens when you fail to take action that you should take or when you continue to take actions that you should You know, there is a responsibility. If you believe the twaddle that you're being fed, then, you know, um, you have a responsibility if you fail to find out more about whether or not you really need to do this stuff. You, know, you just don't. Stand up to them, you know, they keep saying these things like you have to give them your name and address and all these personal details. Please just don't, uh, don't accept that you have to do what they tell you to do. Think about it, research, find some more.